I'm Peter Shin, and this is my partner, Nikhil Kajwani. And our uh, project is Software Defined Radio, specifically frequency modulation and binary phase shift keying. Uh, our uh, mentor is prof Professor Bill Hodgkiss. Um, so our outline, we're going to go over the statement of work, uh, the a brief background, our implementation and results, and conclusion and possible future work. So our statement of work, um, we researched GNU Radio and uh, various other platforms and projects and implemented uh, FM transceiver as well as uh, advanced systems, VPSK, and uh, in the process we learned how to build custom blocks. So a software-defined radio, as Professor Hodgkiss mentioned before, is it's a general term used for um, radio systems that have a flexible software backend with an analog front end. Uh, typically, uh, traditional radios were used for one modulation technique because of the hardware. Um, but now with uh, the software-defined radio, you have the flexibility to reconfigure and um, modulate using different techniques. Um, ideally, you'd have one device communicating over one standard. And our project uses GNU radio as the software backend and USRP as the analog front end. Um, the GNU GNU radio consists of uh, Python applications which use lower level uh, C++ blocks that implement the uh, signal processing. So this is the US USRP board. Um, on the transmitter side, uh, a host computer would send complex data signal through to the USB controller and then it'd go into the FPGA where um, it would be upconverted and then it would go through a D to AC converter and then to the RF daughter board which uh, would send at uh, 2.3 to 2.9 gigahertz and on the receive side exact opposite would happen. The uh, daughter board would receive the signal and then uh, convert analog to digital um, conversion and then to the FPGA where down, down conversion would occur and then be sent to the host computer on the receive side. And Nikhil will continue on the similar platforms on Junior Radio. Uh, thanks, Peter. So these are some of the similar platforms we were doing research on uh, when we started our project. Um, I'll briefly just talk about um, the Virginia Tech Aussie project. This is a, a military standard uh, open source SCA implementation embedded. The SCA implementation is a military standard, and it's uh, and it's kind of what they do. It's a far more advanced system than the GNU Radio with the USRP box. Um, there's the warp board from Rice, and there's a few projects even here at UCSD. I believe uh, Professor Hodgkiss is working on the joint tactical radio uh, system for the for the military, which is uh, radio interoperability among uh, different services in the military. And now to get into the meat of our uh, talk is like modulation. So modulation is like it says, uh, physical air techniques to transmit data. L literally, it is uh, using data or mounting data onto a carrier wave and transmitting it from the transmitter to the receiver and then um, deciphering the message from that. It's, it's how to represent data in terms of voltages and transmit them over the air. And like I said, you transmit them over a carrier or a high frequency wave and uh, you modulate different properties. You transmit the data as either uh, changes in frequency of the carrier wave, phase, or amplitude. And I'll explain each of those briefly. First, frequency modulation. Uh, this is something we implemented during our project. Um, the analog data that you're trying to send, or sometimes digital, but in our case, analog data, uh, varies the frequency of the waveform according to this equation. And that's implemented in DSP um, using an, accumulate, uh, uh, an accumulator which does the integration and the multiplication happens automatically. Um, I guess these are the parameters of the equation and we're allowed to set them in GNU radio when we're transmitting. Uh, that's the bandwidth and I guess Peter will return to this topic in a few moments. Uh, this is phase shift keying. Um, I'll show you an example of the waveform in a moment, but uh, essentially the uh, transmitted d data um, is represented by the phase of the carrier wave. And so it requires a coherent detector. Coherent means that uh, the detector and the transmitter have to, um, have to be synchronized in frequency and phase. 
and um, that's why it's hard to implement. Uh, the BPSK waveform is given by that equation, um, and those are the parameters. This is kind of what it looks like, I guess. This is an in-phase quadrature plane. You usually transmit in BPSK only two points. Um, you're either transmitting a one or a zero, and they're represented on a plane like this. Um, next up is amplitude modulation, where the amplitude of the carrier wave uh, is the data you're uh, wanting to transmit. Um, that's once again the equation. You get something called pulse amplitude modulation when the data is uh, digital. So you either transmit ones or zeros, or basically um, uh, ones or minus ones in the case of pulse amplitude modulation. And that's um, mentioned in that point. Quadrature amplitude modulation is the next generation of pulse amplitude modulation where you transmit data on two orthogonal waves. Uh, these waves don't affect each other when the receiver uh, demodulates, and that's why you get um, higher data rates with the same bandwidth. This is a comparison of the modulation schemes that are used these days. Uh, the graph represents um, spectral efficiency given uh, an SNR, and so as you can see, the um, QAM is fairly high up. It's, it's an advanced technique that has high spectral efficiency up at the top over there. And um, uh, PSK and PAM are lower down. And these are some other techniques, such as FSK, uh, that have lower um, bandwidth efficiencies but have their own uses because they're incoherent and other such things. These are some of the applications of these modulation techniques. As I said, FSK, which has low bandwidth uh, efficiency, is actually used in frequ fast frequency hop systems because it's incoherent. FM is used in um, radios, still commonly used today. Uh, PSK is used in uh, 802.11b, and QAM is used in many digital schemes. In fact, um, I believe it's in 802.11g as well. And so in our project, this is the environment we set up.